Hi guys, I just wanted to stop by and give you guys a quick tutorial on pen loops. I know that pen loops can be expensive and they can be just hard to find. So what I wanted to do here was to show you guys how I make my pen loops. And if you guys have seen my planner before, you know that I have um, different size pens and so this works out pretty well uh, for me anyway. So what I do is I start out with a laminated sheet and this has already been ran through the laminator and I cut it down. Sorry about the glare. Um, I use my paper trimmer just to cut it down. So from there I do cut this. It's four centimeters wide by two and a half centimeters um, tall just because I want to be able to have a good amount of adhesive uh, or space to put the adhesive on my pen loop. So the next things you're going to need, um, if you don't have a paper trimmer, you can utilize a straight edge and your X-Acto knife, which I'm going to just slide over here. And then I also have, I'm hoping my cat does not jump up here, I also have the the corner rounder. I just like to be able to round my corners out um, just because I feel like it gives it a cleaner look. Plus these little corners on here are rather um, sharp and so I would rather not get jabbed with them. So as you guys probably cannot see <laughs> is the fact that I have all of the corners rounded and everything here is ready to roll. So you can do it a couple of different ways. One, I'm the way I'm going to show you is the, the cheap and easy way or the easy method that I have. And um, then there's a second way and I will, I will show you guys how I did that on my planner. But just choose your elastic. It doesn't matter if it's just a plain white or a plain black. You can get fancy. These are just a couple of them that I have. And then you're going to want to grab your pen. What you're going to do is you're going to check and see, and this is how I cut mine, is I cut it basically for the circumference of the barrel of the pen. And the reason why I do this is because then once you attach it to your little piece here, it's going to cinch it up. And then that way it's going to be nice and tight when you go to put this in. Now I will warn you, if your pen has some sort of grip on it, you're going to want to go looser just because that grip is probably going to catch on the inside. So just to let you know um, about that one. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere this to my piece of plastic. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a tape runner and I'm going to run it down the side. I'm going to turn it over and run it down the side and then I am going to just simply press those into place. Okay. Now the next step to doing this really easy. And the thing that I love about this is the fact that I can, um, pretty much hide the stable because of this glittery, um, elastic. It's going to hide the staple really well. Now I won't do, I wouldn't do it on a black one just because, um, a, the, the fabric is, you know, on either side of the elastic and that's probably not going to hold up very well. So I would utilize a sewing machine after I get to this part, I would utilize a sewing machine and just do a stitch um, front and back. So then that way you've got a nice firm hold. You don't want to just put the glue on it and leave it to roll because that's not going to work. Okay. It'll come right off. I promise you. So then as you can see, you can't really see the staple there. And once you get these in your planner, it's not going to really, um, be visible anyway, but there you have a nice inexpensive, pen holder. And then your final step is going to be utilizing some sort of double adhesive, double sided adhesive. Now this is, um, the scotch one, this is a permanent double sided tape. And the reason I want this is because it's going to adhere to my material here a little bit better and it's going to make it easier for moving it around. And usually I 
utilize the scissors to cut these down, but I'm going to just do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is once we get this on here, then I'm going to just grab a little thing here. We have our dashboard and we want to just stick it on here. So you simply remove the adhesive tape and I remove the top one because my bottom one is a little long, which is totally fine because if I can get a hold of the darn thing, you can just take that and flip it back and it's good to go. Okay. Then you take it, you're going to figure out kind of where you want it for placement, give it a good push down. And I always make sure that I put the adhesive, if I'm using a staple, I put it on the back side or the underside of the staple where the two prongs come together, just so then that way it's not catching on anything. So you have this smooth side there. Then you just slip it in and there is your pin loop. Now, the other great thing about this is if you are careful, you can pull this up and sometimes your adhesive will stay down and that's totally okay because what you can do is you can just grab it off of there and then restick it. Um, and then you can put this either in another place in your planner or um, you know, you've decided you don't want it anymore. You can just take it off and you can, uh, you know, make it with the pretty ribbon instead. So I have, I have my black ones here and, um, you know, some of them are stapled and that's just because I was in a hurry, but you know, the ones that are sewn are holding up a lot better. Um, the staple, like I said, I wouldn't use it on the frilly one just because I'm learning that it's not going to hold together as well. So that is pretty much it. And if you have any questions or comments, please comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe so that you can get more tutorials and tips on how to make fun things for your planner. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.